It's time. It's time. It's time. For what? For the curious giraffe show. Sit back and relax. So we'll sing, chat, and laugh. Oh, on the curious giraffe show. Okay, and before we do anything else, we're going to find out who's who on the curious crew. Who's who on the curious crew? I am Dorothy with the show for you. This is Jeanette. Hi. And this is George. Now who else is on the curious crew? You. What's your name? Milo. Hi, Hi Milo. Milo. What's your name? Lauren. Hi, Hi Lauren. Lauren. What's your name? I'm Emily. Hi, Hi Emily. Emily. What's your name? I'm Aurora. Hi, Hi Aurora. Aurora. What's your name? Maddie. Hi, Hi Maddie. Maddie. What's your name? I'm Dorothy. Hi, Dorothy. Hi, everybody. So, we're... I'm Jeanette. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and now we're going to work our way through some interesting ideas to do with letter J. So let's turn to the Curious Giraffe song and we're going to start with the giraffe asking a question about the zebra, but then something about the letter J. Are you curious? Here we go. Giraffe looked over at zebra and said, why do I have spots? Why do you have stripes? Zebra just shrugged and said, we come in all types, but we all share one big sky. Oh yeah. Share one big sky, share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along. Cause we can all share and we can all care. We're different, but we all belong. Giraffe looked over at the children and said, You make me feel so happy that I could just jump for joy. Moving with my body is as good as a toy underneath this one big sky. Oh yeah. Share one big sky, share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along. Cause we can all share and we can all care we're different but we all belong so did you catch something that starts with J jump for joy jump for joy jump for joy is the, Jilly Jack. Is the first thing we're going to do say that again Jilly Jack Jilly Jack also starts with the J sound the J sound excellent so the first song we're going to do have you ever heard the song if you're happy and you know it yeah. mm -hmm. well there's another word for happy that starts with jolly. J say it again jolly jolly so let's sing if you're jolly and you know it all right and we'll talk about how our bodies express our feelings okay and Feel free to do what the song says. Like if it says clap your hands, you'll clap them. If it says to stomp your feet, you'll stomp them. So listen for your We've cue. We've been listening to these songs in the car. Okay, good. Sing along. Here we go. If you're jolly and you know it, clap your hands. If you're jolly and you know it, clap your hands. If you're jolly and you know it, then your body sure will show it. If you're jolly and you know it, clap your hands. If you're angry and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're angry and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're angry and you know it, then your body sure will show it. If you're angry and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're sleepy and you know it, a yawn. If you're sleepy and you know it, give a yawn. If you're sleepy and you know it, then your body sure will show it. If you're sleepy and you know it, give a yawn. That's literally how I am right now. <laughs> 
That's literally how you feel. Okay, and some of us might feel this next one. If you're silly and you know it, give a wiggle. If you're silly and you know it, give a wiggle. If you're silly and you know it, then your body sure will show it. If you're silly and you know it, give a wiggle. I'm gonna get up and do it. Okay, in a minute, in a minute, we'll do another song where you have. You're, I'm gonna invite you to get up. All right. Now, Lauren, would you reach behind you into George's pouch? He had an, something he wanted us to know about. That he was excited about when he found this out. And maybe would you, do you want to read it or do you want to pass it to Emily to read? Okay, Emily, would you read it in a loud, clear voice? Um, mullets, the jumping fish. Why do they jump? Now emotions. One of these, the one of the theories when it comes to why these mullets jump is simply because they are happy and they feel like it. Uh, un. Laura, look over and help. And oh, un You want to spell it? U n b e k n o w n s t. Okay, I couldn't follow that. Let's see. Let's see. Unbeknownst to a lot of people, people that's these a big fish word. are also capable of feeling an array of emotions. And different species also carry different personalities. With mullets being being distinct by showing emotions through getting out of the water and jumping for joy. So when I was in Florida I saw mullets jumping for joy. I'm going to just let all of you see the picture. Of the mullets. Go Florida? I go in the winter sometimes. So let's see what our next song is that I said you could stand up for, Maddie. Now it's time to get up. I jump for joy lives within me. Joy is one of my favorite J words. Okay, here we go. I jump for joy lives within me. I jump for joy lives within me. I jump and the joy within me wants to join with the joy in you. I'm going to ask you to move forward a little bit, Aurora and Maddie. This time spin or move forward if you need space. I spin for spunk. Here we go. I spin for spunk lives within me. I spin for spunk lives within me. I spin and that spunk within me wants to join with the spunk in you. All right, I stretch for strength lives within me. I stretch for strength lives within me. I stretch for strength lives within me. I stretch and that strength within me wants to join with the strength in you. Now, just in place, can you run for fun? I run for fun lives within me. I run for fun. on one foot maybe. I hop for hope lives within me. I hop for hope lives within me. I hop and the hope within me wants to join with the hope in you. Okay, wow, good exercise. Come and sit down again, please. All right, is there anything you like to do just for fun? I like biking. Hiking or biking? What biking. Biking. Okay, Maddie. Um, riding on rainbows. Riding on rainbows. I would do that. I've never <laughs> done that. Sounds painting like fun. Painting slide rainbow and then she likes to Say that again. Um, she um. likes painting slides rainbow and sliding them. Oh, so um, you paint so, the slide so rainbow got, color. I got a book and it's called Winnie the Unicorn and it's I see two people, and there's a little girl and a unicorn, 
and well, they fly down a rainbow. Wow, that's a fun idea. How about any of the rest of you? Is there something you do just for the joy of it? Like, like being outside. Playing outside. Swimming. Swimming. And reading. Reading for the joy of it. I like the swings. Swinging. Milo, anything come to mind? Uh, I don't know. Okay, just if something comes up, you can tell us in a little while. I also like climbing trees. Climbing trees. And Maddie, one more? Building tree houses. Building tree houses, wow. Or building and relaxing. Building, relaxing. All kinds of things can answer that question. So I have a fun idea. It would bring me joy if you could help me with this junk. Another J word is junk. And yeah, I think let's sing this song before we take out all the junk. All right. It really isn't. Oh, what's it in? A bag. A bag. You know what kind of bag? Garbage plastic. A plastic garbage bag. That's right. So this song, written by Dan Einbinder. Right. Back up. A, oh, these are supposed to be recycle containers. Okay, that you sort your garbage. So let's sing. It really isn't garbage. So you mix it all together. Actually, I think you're curious enough. I'm going to go ahead and open it. And while we sing, if you can be sorting the garbage. What does sorting mean? It means taking things that are all mixed together and putting them where they go. Does everybody understand? Yeah. Okay. Here goes. Okay. Do you think I gathered enough? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll sing the song, and if you can sing with me, do, but otherwise, just start sorting. <laughs> okay. It really isn't garbage till you mix it all together. That's cardboard. It really isn't garbage till you mix it all together. It really isn't garbage till you throw it away. So separate your paper, plastic, compost, glass, and metal. And then you get to use it all another day. There's garbage in the kitchen. There's garbage in the basement. There's garbage in the bathroom and the backyard, too. Sometimes it seems to me that we're very in the future. Let's take a pile of junk and sing the garbage blues. Cause it really isn't garbage till we mix it all together. It really isn't garbage till you throw it away. So separate your paper, plastic, compost, glass, and metal. And then you get to use it all another day. Keep going if you can. Should I push it over closer? Yeah. Okay, Jeanette's gonna help. She's gonna help push it over so we can get it all sorted. Actually, Maddie, you can actually help them reach it too, okay? Second verse. Don't put it in the landfill. It gets in the drinking water. It hurts the fish and beaches if you put it in the sea. Take time to just recycle the solution to pollution. Don't count on someone else, it's up to you and me. Cause, sing with me, it really isn't garbage till you mix it all together. It really isn't garbage till you mix it all together. It really isn't garbage till you throw it away. So separate your paper, plastic, compost, glass, and metal. And then you get to use it all another day. Now there are some folks who say we really ought to burn it. It's so convenient, makes new jobs and electricity. But if you're gonna burn it, then you know you're gonna breathe it. And what you do with what is left, there's no guarantee. Last time, it really isn't garbage till you 
mix it all together. There really isn't garbage till you throw it away. So separate your paper, plastic, compost, glass, and metal. And then you get to use it all another day. Wow. Wow, you guys, you did an awesome job. You turned a pile of trash into things you might want to use. And in our mystery box today, I brought some things that might help you with your ideas. Jenga? So, <laughs> nice job. I see this. Oh, who would like to name how you sorted them? Um, cardboard. Okay. This is plastic. Foam, tin foil, paper, paper, glass, and paper. All right. You agree, Milo? All right. So I get excited when I see all these things that are perfectly good. They just here. Maddie, you want to scoot over a little bit this way? There we go. Good. Our stage got very full. So I brought. What do you see in our mystery box? Art. Art supplies to help us be creative with our junk. Uh, you know what I call this kind of junk? Jolly junk, because you can use it again. All right, so. I call it inventions. Inventions is a really good word. It's very good. Last time was I, inventions would work with that. So I'm going to sing, we're going to sing one more song, and then we're going to invent things. So you're. Minds can be thinking, but I want to check with one word. I used this word in an earlier song, spunk. Anybody have a guess what spunk is? Um, a new word for some of us. I get it. Energy. Energy. Okay, bring your imagination. Come show your spunk or energy. Yes. Skunk. It rhymes with skunk. We know skunk. <laughs> skunk is what? An animal. And it's smelly, too. And it's smelly. It sort of has some spunk, doesn't it? <laughs> skunk has some spunk. But spunk, yes, is energy and, and cleverness, right? Okay, so bring your recycling. Bring out your junk. Bring your imagination. Come show your spunk. Here we go. Bring your recycling. Bring out your junk. Bring your imagination. Come show your spunk. How can we use it to make something new. We use it, don't refuse it. See what we can do. Bring out the cardboard, bring out the foil, bring the containers, watch while we toil. How can we use it to make something new? We use it, don't refuse it. See what we can do. Bring out the plastic. Egg cartons too, bottles, jars, and caps, don't forget them too. How can we use it to make something new? Reuse it, don't refuse it, see what we can do. Bring along some scissors, maybe string and tape. Bring your, bring your ideas, see what we can make. One more time. How can we use it to make something new? Use it, don't refuse it. See what we can do. I see some ideas. And Milo? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Um, Milo, can you help them? Or do you have some ideas? Or do you want to start to give them some? Oh, good. You have an idea. Okay, sure. All right, what do you need that you see? Yeah, tape. Okay, sure. And where did I had two? I have this kind of tape. Can we use this? Because you have lightweight plastic, so maybe this will work. Hold it in place, it needs more. Oh, pretty good. I'm going to put one more just to help. Anybody need anything? Everybody's busy. All right. Oh, this one you want to go like that? Yeah. All right. Can I do like that? 
That's more secure. All right. Great. Hmm, I see. Yeah, go ahead. You can speak up clearly. Ask. Okay, I like how you call someone's name and ask for what you need. Thank you, Milo. Look how he's sharing. Milo, what do you need? Do you want something else that's hard to reach? I'm just writing it. Please. Ready for my face. Okay, all right. So, Emily, what are you working on over there? Uh, just making something. I don't know what it is. Okay. Yeah, that's the best way is just to start and see what happens. The top one, like when you're done, and then like it could pour stuff in and you have multiple oh. rounds at the same time. Say that again, Aurora, louder for all of us. What's um, your idea? I thought maybe when she's done, she could cut off the bottom of the other one, uh, of the top bottle, and if, she, like, she's using the bottle for all the other ones. Okay. And then she could have multiple bottles, so it would be, like, a giant water bottle. Oh, cool. A giant water bottle is a great idea. That's nice. Maddie, you returned it. Yeah, I didn't think so. Lauren, do you need help you holding something? Scissors. scissors. Which ones would you prefer, the smaller ones or the bigger ones? Okay, very good. Hmm. You know what I have sometimes made from old foil? Or does anybody else need this? Um, I don't think so. No, okay. Sometimes I just take foil, make it into a little lightweight ball, and it becomes a little cat toy. My cat will <laughs> bat it around. Anybody have an idea for this? Can I use it? Sure. So, Milo, what did you do on it. with your container that you chose? I put a little face on it. Oh, you put a face on it. Turn it so everybody can see. Good, all the way around. Is it? A, a, that's Florin, can a I fun use idea. It? So, are you going to use it for a container or a puppet or what do you think? A decoration? Hold on. I don't know. You don't know, but you're reusing it. That's exactly the challenge today, is to reuse things that some people might forget that they might have another use. Hmm. How about an egg carton? I have an egg carton. You have one? Yeah. Oh, good. And you have an idea for it? Uh -huh. Okay. What do I you tried to use it, but it wouldn't work, so I decided to use it. You were thinking about it, and you didn't change your mind. Maddie, what did you need up here? Oh, here. Okay, I think I'll help you with that part, okay? So sometimes you want to do something, but the tools might be a little sharp, or this, the material might be a little hard. So you want to open it like that? Do you want me to cut it all the way off, or just so that you can open it? Where's the top to this? And, oh, you want to take it off and put it back? Or see, right now it opens like that, and then we'll close. You like that? Yeah. Okay, great. All right. Mm-hmm. -hmm. I was thinking about egg cartons and that I could keep well, separate. Well, it doesn't, like, grow. Is there any string or anything? I brought some string, just in case I, somebody I, wanted I, some string. I, I don't, like, Here's some scissors. Yeah. I can't open it. Yeah, well, so would you like me to cut it all the way off? Sure. Okay. So we're having uh, invention time here, exploring. <laughs> All these objects that could be reused for something new. You're doing a fantastic job. So, I think I'd like to sing while you're working. I'm going to sing the chorus of the last two songs that we did. But I'm also going to sort of organize so that we can sing our goodbye song. Because pretty soon we're going to have to say goodbye but you have done a wonderful job demonstrating, wow, 
New ideas. There you go. I might need to. You want to? Here, yeah. I have an idea. If I squish it a little bit. Is that good? Not quite. Okay. Well, I'm going to get my guitar and sing. Um, may I have the scissors for just a minute? I think if we cut little snips in it, that it can go inside your jar, your bottle, and stay put. Let's, shall we experiment? Mm -hmm. Okay, almost. All right. Okay, I'm going to sing a couple choruses, and then we really do have to go. All right, what a good time we've had. Okay, so I'm going to sing the chorus to this first, this song, and then we'll have to get going. Bring your recycling, bring out your junk, bring your imagination, come show some spunk. How can we use it to make something new? Reuse it, don't refuse it, see what we can do. You guys are awesome. And it really isn't garbage till you mix it all together. It really isn't garbage till you throw it away. So separate your paper, plastic, compost, glass, and metal. And then you get to use it all another day. All right, you are awesome. I'm going to let you take some of these with you, but we need to stand up and say goodbye to our audience. Okay, good. I see Emily's following and the rest. Here you go. Put that where you wanted it. And okay. Milo, can you stand up and we'll just have to let our, our wonderful jolly junk that's reusable stay where it is. Stand up for our goodbye song. Can I do this last um, piece? Okay, but stand up please. One last piece on there. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Did you want to hold this, Maddie? Here. We're not going to... Here. I'll, we've got to sing our goodbye song. And I'm and glad I'll you're excited. Put some just, stronger just, um, string on it later. Okay, later. In a minute, in a minute, let's sing our goodbye song. Are you ready? I know we could keep playing. Here we go. Keep, keep singing, singing, keep looking up. Keep asking questions and never give up. Keep singing, keep looking up. Keep asking questions and never give up. Thank you for watching. We'll be back again. Bye-bye. Bye. Bring your recycling. Bring out your junk. Bring your imagination. Come show some spunk. How can we use it to make something new? Reuse it, don't refuse it. See what we can do. You guys are awesome. And it really isn't garbage till you mix it all together. It really isn't garbage.